Amen. Anyone? Anybody? Going once, going twice. Is that a donut from Mama's in Minto? Yeah. Oh, so good, oi. Can you pass it down? Oh, how are you still eating? Wait, I'm so tired, man. Very hard, same. Did you eat anything? Of course I ate. Just picked up the meat. Hmm? Fair, fair, am we My girl Cece hooked me up. Mum and I got them in Livius. Oh, I know the shop you're talking about. Is that from Say Polynesian Chick? It's mm. chic. Go ahead. Say Polynesian Chic. You said chick, Bibu. Shh. Uwa. Babu. Are you the language police? <laughs> Shame. What about you, sis? All you ate was Essie. My friend from work said her house were getting pregnant. We'll do whatever we can now. It's all in God's hands now. Amen. Ugh, I can't stand Paul Paul. Too sweet for you? Nah, I'm with Israel, little type of girl. You know that, sweetie. <laughs> Mom, can I have some Bobby Massimo? Mom! Olea. Where does Bobby Massimo come from? It literally means salty cow, Papa. <laughs> sure it does. Diana, is Saurita. You know, when we were younger, Mama used to use Bovi Masima to heal everything. Wounds, get rid of warts, boils. That sounds disgusting. It's true. You know, I used to have this on your pool hole. Tino. <laughs> but sis, it's true. Oh, Dad! <laughs> Somebody please tell me he's joking. What? It's not like I'm contagious. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. It's a joke. But it's not a joke. You know Mama used to make us use Bobby Massima on everything. Ew, like what? Brushing our teeth when we had no toothbrushes. Using it as bulu to wash our undies with. Oh, and if you ask Princess, because I had perfect skin, she used it for her pimples. They were so bad. They looked like volcanoes. <laughs> <laughs> These dishes are not going to clean the sauce up. Come on. Alo mokoi. Go. Ufanalo. Vai o chum. Engano te metas. Ole povi masima. On the air layer, I thought Uncle just said I mean salty pig. Cow, you egg. No, you're an egg. Stop. I love it now. Mama, Fai, you're scaring the kids. Then why are we hearing this for the first time? Wait, wait, on a Yo, I want to hear the story. Shh. Same. When the adults talk, how do they gonna? Mama's asked that I share this story. Why are you? Mama's got a mouth. Auntie, weren't you listening? This story was told to Mama by her grandmother. And? Well, seeing I'm one of her granddaughters, she's already told this to me. Uh, sorry, I'm one of her granddaughters too. And my dad's the Makai, so what makes you so special, Singal? Mama tells me and the twins heaps of stories. But you never come over anymore. Mama tells us heaps. Do you want to hear the story or not? Yes. There was a time, many years ago, that our people survived on nothing but plants and fish. This tale is no stranger to anyone. But like Mama said, one thing is always forgotten. You see, when the missionaries arrived, our people began to change. Our people became unrecognizable. 
Psalm war had ceased to exist. Christianity took over everything. All our traditional beliefs were slowly disappearing. Our people, we were doing things we'd never done before. Like what? What changed? We learned about the Bible and its laws. Those laws became ours. Rules that we had enforced within our Fa'amatai were vanishing. That's why some villages have different rules from others. We were mostly living off crops in land, fish in the sea. We had chickens and pigs. And suddenly, we were exposed to eating new meat, like cows and sheep. Like Bobby Massimo. See? That's why I don't eat meat. Oh, no one cares, cuz. Tell that to our sinking islands then? Yeah, like the Marshall Islands, right? Tokelo, even Kiribati. <gasps> Speaking of which, has anyone met Lena's new man? You said he's Turk, right? What if he's related to us? Wouldn't that be weird? It's very possible. I mean, Dad's related to half of Porirua, right? Mm, gee, he's like Lena's husband. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were staying for lunch. Sam, it'd be nice to have some other Usos in the house. Story of my life, brother. Hey, hard. Us boys need to be voiced too, man. Yeah. Why are you all looking at me? I know who I am. Hello. Anyway, Lena said Lata was on night shift. They were going back to Newcastle just before you guys had arrived. But how are we supposed to? Ah, uh, irrelevant. Can we save your cool story for another time and get back to our story? Now, where was I? New meat, cows and sheep. Right, thanks guys. And suddenly, we were exposed to eating new meat, like cows and sheep. Our people were mysteriously vanishing. And little did we know, the missionaries were eating our people. Ugh, that's disgusting. I just found my papaya titan. Oh, no, your boo hole? Shh. I'm out here. Oh. You kids. <laughs> Luckily, someone tricked the missionaries in eating Bovi Masima. Eventually, they found out, but they had already moved on to other parts of the Pacific. Probably Tonga. Uh, you know Mama descends from a Tongan dynasty, right? One that took over Samoa in the 1700s. And, um... Just say it. Oh my gosh, I'm such a racist. I was kidding, and yes you are. You see, the reason why Mama raised you all using Bovi Masima, using those unfortunate methods. Don't be so overdramatic. Was to remind society today of the struggles our people once encountered. I'm a bit confused. So you're saying that Balangi people... Same. You're saying Balangi people ate us? They did. So, if they did, why would we brush our teeth, wash our undies, and rub this into our wounds and skin? I mean, isn't it actually making us more tasty for them to want to eat us? Exactly. It was the Balangi that projected Christianity and its values onto our people. And now, they're afraid of failing their own laws, but even more afraid that we'll expose them for the savages they truly are. This is our chance to reclaim Samoa, take back what is ours. So good.
my sister in Christ. Do you have a spare moment? I'd love to share a message with you. This will truly change your life. No English, just someone. Eh, ole ma monga. Hmm. Le ai. Elua. Okay, bye. Oe e te papahole. Ele le te le lo u fa samoa. What's all? What the hell are you doing? No, 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 no. My name is, uh, my name's Jed. No, Jed? You know see? Sorry, my mistake. I was looking for my partner. He's Toke. Um, the sky is clearly someone. <laughs> Ole Samoa. <laughs> I bleed red and blue, baby. <laughs> anyway, I was just asking... Sina. Oh, so you do understand. I was just asking Sina here if you ladies had some time to spare. We'd love to talk to you about the word of the good Lord. You seem like good people. Don't forget the mayor Isis. Let's make this quick. So, uh, can we... can we come in? I feel my now I feel now. Do you need a hand? No, Mum, I'm all right. Makope, I'll see you off. Do you see your mind is if I hang up? Mum, we can't find that off. Shh, I'm all fella. Hey, I'm your boy, see. Get together and we're sharing whatever we have. I'm making food and I caught up the crew. They say we'll bring some too and we'll all get together and we're sharing whatever we have. Sometimes it feels like we're spinning so fast, but if we just stand still, take a look around at the beauty that surrounds you. you should know, no matter how far you go, that this will always be your home, cause we're family. Hey, hey. I'll be here, no matter how far or near, let go of all your fears, cause we're family. Hey. Sometimes it feels like we're spinning so fast But if we just stand still Take a look around at the beauty that surrounds you You should know, no matter how far you go That this will always be your home Cause we're family hey. 